So what are T accounts and how do they fit into the context of learning accounting? So these T accounts are something that it took me a little while to wrap my head around when I first started, but once you do, they can be a really great tool for helping you work through journal entries and even creating trial balances and financial statements. So a T account is just simply a visual representation of all the activity in a particular account that we use. So for example, I have a couple sample transactions here and a couple T accounts. Now, before we get started, I'm gonna put up what I like to call my T account cheat sheet. And this is up top here and you can see we have the accounting equation, assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. And it's really helpful right off the bat before we even start making these journal entries to know which account increases with a debit and which account increases with a credit. So the first thing I'll do is I will write it out and I will put pluses on the outside. Oh, but first we have a debit column and a credit column. The debit is always on the left, credit is always on the right. And we're gonna do that for all our T accounts. Debits on the left, credits on the right. So I, as I go, I'm gonna be filling in my T account with these values. So supplies, I debited for $200. So you could see that my beginning supplies inventory is zero here, but I debited it for $200 through transaction A. And my cash, I credited it for $2,000 with transaction A. So I have a beginning cash balance of $1,000, and I'm going to credit this for $200 and label that transaction A. So now you can see that we're keeping track of the activity that occurs like through the account by labeling them and using the T account. So sometimes it may not be transaction A, but that might actually be a date. So now you can see the dates and follow the activity uh, chronologically. So our second journal entry, very, very similar to the first. In fact, it's the same thing, we'll just change the value. So I know that I'm paying $500 in cash. So again, I'm gonna credit cash for 500 this time, and I'm gonna credit supplies, or excuse me, I'm gonna debit supplies because we're increasing that asset for 500 as well. So, and again, same exact thing. I'm going to debit my supplies for 500 because I increased my supply inventory and that's transaction B. And the same time, I'm gonna credit my cash for $500 now. Now, now that I'm done uh, figuring out my transactions, now what happens? Now, how are the T accounts useful? So they're gonna help me give a ending balance or ending inventory when I'm done with all my transactions or when the time comes to build your financial statements or trial balance. So right here, I would expect assets, so cash and supplies, to have a positive debit balance. They live in the debit world. So let's let's do that and let's see if that works out. So I have a beginning $1,000 of cash. And so basically what I'm doing here is I am decreasing that $1,000 by 200 and 500. So $1,000 minus 200 and 500, so that's 700. And I will have $300 debit balance at the end. So again, I have a positive $1,000 and I reduced it by 200 and 500 because my credit column is a decrease to that balance and I'm left over with $300. Now, supplies are a little bit easier. I started with a, a zero balance, so I had nothing, so I needed to buy some supplies. And I increased my supplies by 200 and 500. So I'm gonna have a 
a ending $700 debit supply balance. And that's how T accounts can help us track activity, make sure we didn't make any mistakes. So if I made a mistake, and if for some reason I put supplies, for example, in my credit column, I would see something like this. I would know I would have $700 credit balance, which doesn't really make sense because we know our assets live in the debit world. So number one, that would be a mistake. And two, I can figure out exactly which transactions I misclassified if I miss them. So the T accounts are a really good way to have a, take a visual look on what I just did and double check my work. So I hope that helps you and stay tuned for more lessons.